I'm like the Valley Girl. I live in Silicon Valley, the heart of innovative technology. I know where all these awesome companies are, but how the heck did they get here? That's what I'm here to find out. I'm like the Valley Girl. What do you do? Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the greenest of them all? Great source knows that's for sure. When I get ready in the morning, I only use one mirror, but Bright Source is looking good because they use thousands. Please welcome our guest, CEO of Bright Source Energy, Mr. John Woolard. Hi, John. Hey, how are you? <laughs> good, how are you doing? Doing great. Doing Have great. a seat in my pink Thanks. chair. <laughs> so, um, how are you doing today? Doing well. Doing very well. Good. Do you want some water? Would you like some water out of my pink teapot? Sure, I'll take some water. <laughs> okay. Could I pour you some? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Things. You're you're doing really really great things with Bright Source Energy. How did you get involved with them? Start me sort of in the beginning. Bright Source has a long history. They built nine solar power plants back in the 80s when I was actually in uh, high school, wow. and uh, the company built the world's nine largest solar power plants as a different company. Okay. Uh, solar power became relatively uninteresting in the 90s. It was we had cheap power and nobody cared much about carbon. Okay. And then the company got the team, the engineering team, or, or they're all out of Israel. They got back together in 2003, 2004 and started to say, now that carbon matters and now that we need cheap, clean energy, how would we do it again today? And explain to me, why does carbon matter? Well, we have this little thing called the greenhouse <laughs> effect. And what's happening is the more fossil fuels we burn, we're accumulating more carbon in the atmosphere. As the sun penetrates that, it's not allowed to escape as much because carbon traps that sun in it, warms the earth up, and warming uh, can be a good thing if you're in Alaska, but in a lot of places, uh, a hotter world means more storms, more things like Katrina, more problems. So it's very disruptive to the planet in general. Okay, wow. Not a good thing. Not a good thing. Watch your carbon, everybody. What is clean tech? So clean tech is uh, a broad category that a lot of the venture and entrepreneurial uh, companies look at that includes cleaning up our water supply, our energy supply, our materials. It's more efficiency, less waste, and, and being as, uh, as green and clean as you can. We should call it squeaky clean tech. That could work. <laughs> that could work. <laughs> Explain to me how Bright Source works. Bright Source uses something fairly old fashioned called steam. We use it to turn what's called a turbine. A turbine's like a big fan. And okay. when you turn that turbine, that turns a magnet. That magnet pulls electrons through a wire, and that's how you create electricity. So it's like a, a fan that turns the magnet? Yeah, basically. Is it a pink fan? It could be. Okay. You could, you could have a pink fan. Well, let's do a demonstration, shall we? Sure. Should we? Okay, so we have, we have our, you know, teapot of water right here. This is our this is our pot of water. Okay. We'll we'll put That'll it work. we'll put it right here maybe. Yeah, you don't want to burn the flowers. You don't. <laughs> yeah, that must definitely not mix very well. It's um, wilt. We have our two we have our two little mirrors now. Okay. Are they any sort of special mirror or can you just buy them at Target? Ours are almost this nice. Ours aren't round. Ours are flat, and okay. we buy them from all around the world. So it's just there's no special like mirror technology. It's pretty standard. It's pretty straight. Anyone could it's use mirrors to collect steam for the exactly, most part. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, well let's stand up. Let's do this. So uh -huh. our chandelier is going to be our sort of you know sun. Okay. So you want to capture the sun and focus it on that water right. My sun moves a lot. Okay. That's why. That, that's one of the harder things we have is to keep a. <laughs> Keep that mirror flat. Do you have someone sitting in a, you know, in a room like using a remote control? We actually have them. They're actually on a post. They're on they, a post. Yeah, they're on a little post, and then they just turn themselves. They're on a post in the desert. Yeah. So, so do, do they post, grow? Do they grow from the ground? No, we don't water them. At all. You don't water we, them. We try to mirrors. keep them same height. Okay. All the time. <laughs> so do you think it's getting hotter? It looks like it. Yeah. It looks like it. Uh, you know, I think we should probably stop before you melt the uh, plastic. Oh, yeah. So now you would be generating steam. Steam comes up, and then that's what actually makes the electricity. And then the steam comes up, and it goes into this we, magnet thing? We have a little, we, we would detach a little pipe, right, okay. to where the steam would come out. I see. Well, that's awesome. Pretty simple. Yeah. That's, that's very simple. Anyone could collect steam in their backyard. Yeah, we could all do it. <laughs> But Bright Source Although is doing the best We try to job. do it for you, and then we just send you the energy. Yeah, it's a, it's it's a, little, a little simpler complicated. that way. Because <laughs> yeah, having your friends stay out there and hold the mirrors. It would just it would be exhausting. Yeah. Well, I think it's time for a break. 
So we'll be right back with more fun and John Willard after this.